Welcome back to the channel. Today's Royal Headline. Jeffrey Epstein's accuser, Virginia Dufre, has started legal action against the Duke of York and said it was past the time for him to be held to account for allegedly sexually assaulting her when she was a teenager. Lawyers for Ms. Dufre filed a civil suit seeking unspecified damages at a federal court in New York where the court documents claim she was lent out for sexual purposes by convicted sex offender Epstein. Law and crime managing editor Adam Klasfeldt was warned Prince Andrew against refusing to cooperate with the case. Ms. Klasfeldt said if he refuses to cooperate in the civil case there could be a default judgment. If Ms. Dufresne moves for a default judgment and the judge assigned awards that default judgment, that could trail the prince anywhere in the world that Ms. Dufresne seeks to collect it. There are very strong incentives for, to participate in this because it could be a very strong penalty if he does not. It comes as the Duke of York may never return to the royal fold as a working member of the monarchy following Virginia Dufresne's decision to sue the Queen's son for alleged sexual assaults. Andrew has vehemently denied the allegations in the past and a spokesman for the Duke said there was no comment when she was asked to respond to Ms. Dufresne's civil suit. The Duke does not have to attend or give evidence in the civil proceedings in New York, but the legal action will be a further blow to his reputation and the standing of the monarchy, according to Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine. He said that the Epstein scandal, it's damaging, not only for Andrew, but for the institution of the monarchy itself, because all sorts of allegations have been thrown at the institution since all this came to light. And the perception is most likely incorrectly, they are not taking it seriously. Mr. Little added, while the legality and situation itself haven't really moved on at all, in terms of his working royal role, that has shifted significantly, and it's hard to see how he can resume life as a working member of the royal family. Andrew stepped back from public duties after the backlash from his Newsnight appearance, dubbed a car crash, which had attempted to draw a line under his relationship with Epstein, but instead saw him heavily criticized for showing little empathy with the sex offender's victims. I can't think any kind of rehabilitation that will bring him back into the royal fold as a working member of the family, added Mr. Little. Andrew is named as the only defendant in the 15-page suit, brought under New York State's Child Victims Act, though Epstein and his former girlfriend Ghislaine Maxwell are mentioned frequently throughout. In this country, no person, whether president or prince, is above the law, and no person, no matter how powerless or vulnerable, can be deprived of the law's protection, Ms. Dufresne's lawsuit stated. Twenty years ago, Prince Andrew's wealth, power, position and connections enabled him to abuse a frightened, vulnerable child with no one there to protect her. It is long past the time for him to be held to account. That's today's news. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe.